Hi there, welcome to another video from Hegarty Maths. It's Mr. Hegarty here. Happy half term, everyone. I know for a lot of you GCSE and A level students, it's a tough old time. You've got exams coming up. I wanted to make a video to give you a few tips for this last week before um, those exams. One week can make a massive, massive difference. So I wanted to give you some tips to give it your everything in this half term. I'm going to focus those on two things, just making sure you've got your head right for this um, seven days and make sure you've got your work right. So let's start off with your head. The very first thing you need to be getting sorted in your head is a belief in yourself. You can make a difference in the last week. You can improve in the last week and you can achieve any goals you set yourself. Get rid of negative thoughts and doubts. They don't help you. So you may as well be positive and think to yourself, I can do it. What do I need to do in order to achieve what, what I want? Now, you can do it on one provision. Don't say to yourself, oh, uh, I, I can do it. You know, uh, I've got the ability to do it. There is one condition to that. You must couple that and marry that with hard work. You can believe you can do it, That's you need that, but you also need to actually go and do something and work hard. All the greats talk about how hard they work to get what, where they needed to. Beckham, my secret is practice. I've always believed if you want to achieve anything special in life, you have to work, work and work some more. He knows that. You may think David Beckham's this footballer with you know loads of money and lucky guy. He worked hard. Michelangelo, one of my favourite of all time, he was called God's painter. People said he was born with a, a paintbrush in his hands. He was so naturally gifted, which wouldn't have been nice for mummy Michelangelo. But even he said, the great, the great man himself said, if people knew how hard I worked to gain my mastery, people would not think my work so wonderful at all. He knew his secret was success. So yes, Beckham and Michelangelo would have believed in themselves because they went on and did great things, but they also married that with hard work. You must have both. The next thing is just to get over this worry about the past. Don't cry over spilt milk means don't worry about what's already happened. You might say to yourself, oh, I wish I focused a bit more in class, or I wish I started my revision a month ago, or I wish I started my revision an hour ago. Forget about it. Because A, you can only do things in the now, in the present. You can only do it right now. And B, you can only affect the future. The past has happened. So the le lesson from that is start right now. Don't worry about the past. If you've got a dream, if you want to do well next week, you know I need to start now. Believe I can make a difference in this week. And on top of that, work blooming hard in order to make that dream come true all right so forget about the past start right now the minute you've watched this video next thing work hard and make sacrifices I've already talked uh, spoken about hard work all I want to say at this point is the following this next week or two weeks before your exam whatever it may be it's not going to be pretty I'm not going to lie to you and tell you you're going to have the funnest two weeks of your life but they could be some of the most crucial two weeks of your life Nothing in life I've ever had without a bit of pain beforehand. That's just the way it is. They say short-term pain for long-term gain. These exams, they could mean a lot to your life. They could give you access to jobs in the future. They could get you into college. They could just be a pride thing for you. Regardless of that, it's going to be hard, but it's worth it. One hard week now or two hard weeks now and you've got the longest summer holidays if you're finishing your GCSEs or A-levels of your lives. You can have a great time after that. So why, you know, bum around in half term now and watch all these films and TV shows or PlayStation? It's not worth it. For one week for, a, for something much more worthwhile. Visualise that day when you're getting the exam results. You want to feel proud of yourself. You, you want to feel you gave it your all and you got your just reward and that's why it's worth doing. That's why it's worth the sacrifice. That's why it's worth bothering. Okay, the next thing. You've got to avoid distractions, all right? It's going to be really hard this next week. There's going to be a lot of distractions. You guys are in a different generation to when I was revising. I found distractions, don't worry. Like, it, you know, music. Even I remember when I used to revise, my mum would say things that like I used to hate doing hoovering. My mum would say, oh, Colin, you wouldn't hoover the house, would you? And I'd uh, and I'd do anything to avoid that work because it's monotonous and it can be boring. You guys have got phones, playstations, TVs. You've got all you know, especially the phone. It's always buzzing. It's always there. 
put the phone away put it on silent don't let it distract you you need to be in your head with your thoughts with your books working don't work in the same room that PlayStation is there looking at you it's probably talking to you and saying turn me on play you know you know you want to you've got to find a place where those distractions are aren't so put the phone away don't be in the room with the TV or the TV on at the same time not in the room with the PlayStation if you're in the house maybe you've got a younger brother or sister little baby brother or sister they're crying it's loud you know you've got a busy house I used to find a coffee shop don't go to the coffee shop everyone goes to because you end up just hanging out with your mates find somewhere that works for you a corner in the library no one knows about you know the shed anything just somewhere where you can have your own space and get away from the distractions the main one for me in your generation is the phone the phone's always beeping you just heard it beep there for me I wanted to show you what it's like that distracted me from talking on this video turn off the phone put it on silent maybe even don't bring it with you when you go to the library or whatever okay right next your body your head here the head here that's part of your body right and in order for it to function to its full capacity you've got to treat the body from which it is part well you've got to eat well you've got to sleep well I used to have barocas they give me a little bit of vitamin C but make sure you eat healthily fruit and vegetables you eat well don't eat junk food it's not going to help your brain perform to its capacity and you are going to have to work hard over the next week or two but you need to sleep hard as well because your brain only processes thoughts and stores them well when you, it's had time to relax um, I've read somewhere that if, if a human being goes for three days in a row on four hours or uh, less than four hours sleep a night your brain acts as if you uh, you know you were inebriated or drunk so you don't want your brain acting like that when you've got some of the most important exams of your life now the next thing is getting your work right hopefully all that should get your head right get you ready to after you watch this video go right I'm gonna start thing is what are you gonna do right I think when you're starting your work timing is key I used to get up early when I had a big exams coming let me tell you why one of it is psychological when you wake up at 12 or half 12 or 1 you have this feeling you go oh right I'll have a bit of breakfast oh, okay oh you know Jeremy Carl's on let me finish watching that and then next thing you know it's half one it's two o'clock and you haven't done anything and then you start saying to yourself oh you know what what I'll do now is I'll tell you what I'll start tomorrow so a clean start tomorrow because it's you know it's already late and you know give myself a bit of a treat in half term get up early if you can the earlier you can get up even if it's unusual to you six o'clock in the morning start work at seven work from seven till midday you've already done five hours and it's midday you feel great about yourself then you maybe only do one or two more hours in the day and then you've got the whole rest of the day to yourself to go to you know Westfield to go to the shops to go to wherever you want to go to watch a movie play a bit of PlayStation let yourself have a breather but start early because you feel psychologically better about yourself I say six hours minimum that's what I personally say in the, in this closeness to the exams minimum I mean personally I probably do more but six hours minimum what I do is I'd get up at six I'd start work at seven so that six to seven is my my time I'd eat my breakfast carefully you know not carefully I'd eat my breakfast nice and slowly might you know uh, read a bit of a book and stuff like that just wake me up I'd have a like, cup of tea I'd have my shower brush my tea I could get myself nice and ready so I'm not just I've, I've closed the door of the day before I finished the day before and I've started a brand new start so I feel good then I would do um, five hours till 12 o'clock all right so my uh, my d thing is to do six hours I do five hours up till midday and then I would do one hour after it or more okay I tend to do it in two hour blocks so I would do three subjects a day and the way an hour block works for me is, is I, I do 50 minutes and I have a 10 minute break at the end of that 50 minutes it must be uh, strict on that 10 minute break don't let that break go to, uh, on too much and let me give you some tips for that don't turn the TV on during that break because the t you can't watch anything on TV for 10 minutes shows are half an hour long you're gonna get sucked in next thing you know you've watched three Columbo's and the, the the days over right 10 minute break what I used to do is go out outside and do kick-ups for 10 minutes and practice my kick-ups 
that's what worked for me maybe a 10 minute walk maybe two of your favorite songs you might play while you're walking around something like that so each hour would be a 50 minute hardcore working 10 minute break then another 50 minute hardcore working 10 minute break then that would be one subject done I'd go on to another subject I do that three times minimum and get six hours of revision that worked for me you've got to work out what works for you but I think the key is starting early right for me the key is starting early what sh should you be doing sitting down reading a book passively is not going to help you in maths at all right you must practice not to revise revise makes me think of just sitting there reading you must practice you must do maths in order to uh, be successful that means you've got to do questions you've got to do past exam papers otherwise just don't bother right so it's got to be of that form and two things here you've got to practice the things you're not good at it's so tempting I know at GCSE to go off and do 10 stem and leaf diagrams everyone can do them you feel great about yourself you've got 10 questions right they're all the same look everyone can get those questions right yeah go off and do the ones you can't do do the ones you've struggled with do the ones that you need to improve on that is what anyone in life who's trying to improve must do work on your weaknesses also mimic the exam conditions do the past papers find the past papers you can find them in, off the internet easily physics and mastitute.com find those past papers and get them done in exam conditions mimicking what it's like all right that's the main way to do maths and this is something i cannot cannot tell you enough my own students have a battle with my classes sometimes until i like really force it home you must 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 mark your work every time you do an exam paper or you do a set of questions you must find the answers and mark them because if you don't what you've just done is about as useful as a chocolate teapot it, it basically what I mean by that is it's totally useless if you don't mark your work and then you don't mark clearly the ones you got right and the ones you got wrong so that you can go away and revise not revise practice on the ones you got wrong then you may not as well have bothered really if you don't know how you're doing don't bother doing it you'd be better off sleeping the whole half term and, uh, and you know than doing that promise me that if you do any work you mark your work and you learn off your mistakes the last thing is read those mark schemes in in maths papers really carefully know what gets marks sometimes you get a mark for writing a certain phrase learn those look really carefully at the mark schemes RTFQ read the flipping question the amount of times students answer a question different to the question given take your time get really good at reading the questions and really good at understanding what certain words mean and lastly equipment make sure you've got all the equipment that you're going to do in the exam uh, that you're going to use in the exam so that when you come to use it in the exam you're familiar with it and that's pretty much it you can make a big difference this half term I hope those those ideas might may help you in some way uh, one week is a long time you can definitely go up a grade if you're at A level and you're you're a grade A and you're trying to get an A star you can do it in a week you really can if you're a student at GCSE you're at grade D let's say you're battling so hard to get that C because you need to get into college you can go up that grade in a week you just have to work really hard and purposefully over the next week and that means dedication work work long hours I'm afraid believe those hours are going to pay off but also work on the things you're not so good at and in maths in particular do and mark questions that is going to be the key to your success if you manage to get maybe let's say 500 questions done and marked over this uh, this half term it's going to improve your grades for sure so believe in yourself guys I wish you all the best of luck and um, you know Obviously, you sign up for HegartyMaths.com. Uh, there's all the GCC uh, past papers are there. There's loads there for A levels, D1, C3, C4, S1, etc. Or go on the YouTube channel. And also, you can tweet me at Hegarty Maths if you found the video useful or you need any extra tips or advice. Take care, guys. Best wishes. I know you can do it.